hi guys welcome back to my channel so if I'm sounding a bit nasally this week it's because I've been sick all week but I did manage to pull myself together and edit a video for you guys I asked you in my community post which video would you like to see and last time I checked it was a tie between creating a cat pattern and painting clay pins so I decided to do the clay pins one because it was easier and since I'm sick I don't really have the energy to actually make something from scratch and I had pre-recorded this video. So uh, my process is pretty simple, it does have a couple of steps which I will explain in this video. So first off, as you will see, um, I just roll out the clay, the clay I'm using is from Das, uh, it sets if you leave it out in air. So that's pretty simple you don't need an oven or anything and I just cut out my shapes after I roll the clay in whatever shape I want for this I decided to do two types of pins uh, ones with botanical illustrations and ones with sort of a crystal geometric illustration so after I cut out the shapes I then mold them a bit and leave them to dry for 24 hours or more once it's hardened, uh, it's fine. You you can tell when you can use them for painting. And after 24 hours, uh, I take out some sandpaper and kind of refine the shape. But keep in mind, I wasn't going for perfection here. I just wanted to have a smooth surface on which I can paint on. So after uh, sandpapering them, I just put a white base uh, which is white acrylic now this will come in handy uh, when I varnish them because I do have to put some varnish on top of them uh, since I am using gouache paints so after I let the white acrylic uh, to dry uh, it's time to paint so as you will see I made a few designs here they're pretty similar but you get the overall feel I'm trying to do a collection of pins for future design fairs and stuff like that so let me know uh, what are your thoughts on these designs, if you think they're cute, if not, <laughs> I'd be interested to hear your opinion. So after I did my painting uh, on them, uh, I did use gouache and a bit of uh, metallic watercolor. Uh, I just leave it to dry and then I go over it with the varnish. Now the varnish I use is from my Mary, I have used this before with pins. Uh, with wooden pins. It works just fine uh, with clay if you put white acrylic as a base. If not, the clay will turn a bit yellow from this varnish. So yeah, it's pretty simple to do. You can do any shape you want. Clay is very easily moldable and I highly recommend uh, doing this as a hobby or if you just want some really cute pins to attach to your wardrobe or to your bag. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for my voice, it's kind of all over the place, but I'm still recovering from a cold. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. Probably the next video will be uh, creating a cat pattern because I saw that was pretty popular in my poll. And yeah, I wanted to say uh, that we reached a thousand subscribers, which is pretty amazing and now I can post more stuff so check out the community posts and yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye